In the first reading, God speaks through the prophet and says, See, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple. Now this temple could be the earthly structured temple and this temple could be the living temple, our body. But God is going to send messenger to prepare the way, to prepare us for his coming. And in the second reading in the gospel, we see this unfolding of the mystery of the birth of John the Baptist and the unfolding of the plan of God. So Zechariah was announced that he is going to have a child with Elizabeth. And for Zechariah it was so difficult because this wasn't the right age. They had grown in years and more so Elizabeth was barren. And it was hard for Zechariah to accept this announcement of God. He laughed at it and because he could not believe he could not speak the time he came out of the temple. He was mute and maybe he was mute for this whole time of nine months. And this another mystery that unfolds today in the gospel. When the time comes after the birth of John the Baptist, the time to name this child on the eighth day, the relatives and neighbors are greatly rejoicing at this birth. And they ask Elizabeth what name they were going to give because they wanted to name him Zechariah after his father. But Elizabeth says, no, he is to be called John. They started to say, there's no one in your family with this name. There's no one among your relatives. And maybe they were not in favor. So motioning the father, they ask with Zechariah what name he prefers. And Zechariah writes on the tablet, his name is John. Awe and wonder, amazement seized at this moment, because the moment he wrote this, his mouth opens and he can speak. He started praising God and people are astounded what is happening. And considering what has happened, maybe at the announcement, considering what has happened, at this giving of the name, people began to say, What then will this child become? For indeed, the hand of the Lord was with him. What then will this child become? This was the messenger born to the world. And God is going to work through this messenger, John the Baptist, who is going to devote all his life to prepare, prepare himself first in the wilderness, and then prepare others and suffer and die to stand for the truth. God was with him. God was guiding Elizabeth and Zechariah all the time. Not necessarily these people, the neighbors and relatives gathered there. And despite the opposition to the name these neighbors and relatives wanted to give, Elizabeth and Zechariah remained firm to what God had asked of them. So you see at the start, this mystery was revealed and only Elizabeth and Zechariah was aware of this mystery at the announcement. Now it spreads to the neighbors and relatives that they are amazed at this event of giving the name. And later we will see that the whole crowd gathering to receive this baptism of repentance from John, they are being all taken up and touched by the message of John. Because John was the messenger promised before God could walk in the lives of people. Can you and I be God's messengers today? Can you and I be God's messengers to prepare the way of God in the lives of other people so that people are ready? People are ready to accept God coming in their lives, in their temple, that they begin experiencing God because you have prepared the way for the Lord. You have prepared the way for God 
to suddenly come in their lives, in their living temples. Let us try to do all our best to reach out to others, to make a difference in the lives of others, so that they are enough prepared to receive God in their lives.